Good evening and welcome to Cronkite News. I'm Alexis Solari. And I'm Cooper Gardner. Thanks for joining us. Over the past few months, there have been a string of murders in the city of Maryville. All mysteries, all unsolved. Police say they appear to be the work of the same shooter or shooters. Reporter Christina Tatro met with a group of neighborhood patrol members who say they are sick and tired of their homes and neighbors being targets. This morning, a group of neighbors met to discuss the deaths happening at their doorstep. One Phoenix neighborhood patrol and block watch met to vent and to work to prevent these inexplainable deaths. People are scared. So now that people is gory, say, oh my gosh, what's happened with my family? Peralta Lions Block Watch and Phoenix Police Patrol feel the pain of their recent losses and want change. Just want to have a better life for, for our people or community. So they're setting up patrol shifts to find and report anything suspicious. We are going on the streets like every week and we are going to different times of the day. To patrol. They have a direct relationship with Phoenix Police Department and say the main reason that there are so many crimes in their area in general, because people don't call the police when they see something happen. You know, like this, you need working together with the community. You need to call the police. Rosa Pastrada has been seeing crimes increase in her neighborhood around Osborne Road and was the victim of multiple car thefts herself. She says so many people, especially in West Phoenix, are afraid of the police because they're concerned about gang retaliation, but says it's the community's responsibility to step up and call 911 to support the police department in a time like this. Because you are the adult, you are, you are in charge of your family, so I, you need to come in with the meetings. There will be an open community meeting tonight with Phoenix Police Department at 6 p.m. at Desert West Park. Phoenix PD has asked if you know anything about any of these instances, please go ahead and call their police department or either of the silent witness numbers next to me. Live at the digital desk, Christina Tatro, Cronkite News.